Welcome back to our training. So in this video, we'll be demonstrating how to configure the ticket printer on your controller. First, log into the controller. Then go to Users, Internal Authentication, and click on On Demand. Then scroll down to Terminal Server and click on the Configure button. Now what we want to do is set up the SDS200W device on the controller. So here you'll need to put the IP address of the SDS200W, which is 192.168.1.10 by default, and is also within the default service zone's IP network. And the port will be 5000. If you've changed the IP of the default service zone, then the IP address here will also need to be changed accordingly. Then click Apply. Now go back to the same page again and check if there is a green light here for the status. If there's a green light, it means that the communication between the SDS200W and the controller is completed. Under Billing Plan, you'll also see that Billing Plan 1 is automatically checked, which is the billing plan that you've already created previously. For the ticket template, choose Template 1. And we're going to customize the layout of the ticket now. So go back to On Demand and click on the Configure button next to POS Tickets. For ticket type, select Type 3 since this type is for hotel cutoff time, which is the plan type we've selected when we configured the billing plan. Now scroll down and you can see the current layout of the ticket. Here you'll also be able to customize all the parameters as you like. So for example, if you want to add the QR code at the bottom of your ticket, scroll down and then for the parameter, you can select QR and then insert the parameter. Now you'll see that it's inserted. Then click the Apply button. So now you're done with all the configurations on the UI. Let's see how it works when you're handing out the ticket to your room guests. So on your ticket printer, you can press the number 1, which represents Billing Plan 1, which you've already set up before, and then press Enter. Now you'll get a ticket with the Wi-Fi credentials, or the user can also scan the QR code on their smartphone to log in automatically. This is the end of our training series for Hotel Application. Thanks again for watching!